I'm reading um, Politics and Government and the American System. Okay, so I'm on page three. And uh, I was in the area of limiting government power of the book of 2016-2017 uh, edition American Government and Politics Today. Brief ed edition. Okay, I'm all around. Freedom of speech and the right to a fair trial and typically absent. Dictational governments often torture or execute their opponents. Well, you know, I think they shouldn't do that anymore because this is world peace. And that's what I'm going to be fighting for. And it's not literally fighting. <sighs> I really want to have world peace in this world. And that's why I want to run for president. And this is 2020. And plus, I want to get rid of those drugs and alcohol and tobacco. <sighs> Got to do something for this country, you know what I mean? We lived here for something. We're living here for something. And you know what it is? Is to fight what you're thinking about and what you can do to help this nation to be better. You know, this alcohol out there and the drugs out there and the tobacco out there. That stuff is poison. Stay away from that stuff, man. I don't even know why they even come to America. Okay, anyway. We're here to live. We're here to help each other. We're here to take care of each other. We're here to love each other. You know? This nation, this United States of America, is a good place. And this world is God's world. Amen? Okay. Freedom of speech and the right to a, first, a fair trial and typically absent. Dictator, excuse me, dictate, dictatorial governments often torture or execute their opponents. Not a good thing. Not regime may also suppress freedom of reason. Resolution, or excuse me, revolution, whether violent or nonviolent, is often the only way to change the government. It's nonviolent. In short, protection from the violence of domestic criminals or foreign armies is not enough. Citizens also need protection for abuses or power of their own government. To protect the liberties of the people, it is necessary to limit the powers of govern of the people. It is necessary to limit the powers of the government. Liberty, the greatest freedom of the individual consistent with the freedom of the individual consistent with the freedom of other individuals is a second major political value along, along with order. We discuss this value in more detail later in this chapter. Authority and legitimacy. Every government must have authority. That is the right and power to enforce its decision. Ultimately, the government's authority rests on its control of the armed forces and the police. Few people in the United States, however, base their day-to-day -day activities on fear of the government's enforcement powers. Most people, most of the time, obey the law because this is what they have always done. Also, if they did not obey the law, they would face the disapproval of friends and family. Consider an example. Do you avoid injury your friends or stealing their possessions because you are afraid of the police? Or because if you undertook these actions, you no longer ha would have friends? Under normal circumstances, the government's authority has, a bro has broad popular so support. People accept the government's right to establish rules and laws. When authority is broadly accepted, we say that it has le legitimacy. Authority without legitimacy is a recipe for trouble. Even in several Arab, Arab, 
Arab nations since 2011 can serve as an example. This dictators who ruled Egypt, Libya, and Tunis Tunisia had been in power for decades. All three dictators had some popular support when they first gained power. None of these nations had a tradition of democracy, and so it was possible for under excuse me undemocratic rulers to enjoy a degree of of legitim legitimacy. After years of obsessive behavior, these regimes slowly lost that legitimacy. The rulers survived only because they were willing to em employ violence against any opposition. In Egypt and Tunisia, 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 <laughs> T-U-N-I-S-I-A, the end came when soldiers refused to use force against massive demo demo demonstrations. Having lost all legitim legitimacy, the rulers of these two countries, when lost their authorities as well. In Libya, the downfall and death of a dictator, Muammar Qadhafi, came only after a seven-month civil war. Unfortunately, Egypt's shaky new democracy collapsed in 2013 when the army seized power. Hmm. Democracy and other forms of government. LO2 distinguish the major features of direct democracy democracy and representative democracy. The different types of government can be classified according to which person on group of people controls society through the government. Types of government. At one extreme is a social governed by a totalitarian regime in such a political system a small group of leaders or a single individual a dictator makes all decisions for the society every aspect of political social and economic life uh, life is con is controlled by the government the power of the ruler is total use the term Total literalism, total, total lateral, no, total itarianism, <laughs> total, total itarianism. <laughs> A second type of system is authoritarian, authoritarian government, Author, wait, authoritarianism. <laughs> from total literalitarianism and that only the government itself is fully controlled by the ruler. Social and economic in the institutions such as churches, businesses, and labor unions exist that are not under the government's control. Many of our terms for describing the distribution of political par power are derived from the ancient Greeks. Who were the first Western people to study politics systematically? One form of rule was known as aristocracy, literally meaning rule by the best. In practice, this meant rule by wealthy members of ancient families. Another term from the Greeks is the theocracy, which literally means rule by God or the gods. In practice, theocracy means rule by self-appointed religious leaders. Iran is a rare example of a country in which supreme power is in the hands of a religious 